Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Yakuza 0 Blind. In the last episode, we swapped control back over to uh, soon-to-be eight-times father, uh, taxi driver, and uh, prison inmate, <laughs> Kiryu Kazuma. And uh, we also did a horrible, horrible pizza side quest after getting our brand new uh, schnazzy suit. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on because it seems like our good reporter friend, Kasuga, uh, has gotten himself in trouble with uh, another group of shady individuals, this time a uh, human trafficking ring, which is likely uh, a lot worse of a fate than being shot by a gun during a deal, I would say, personally. Uh, so let's go see uh, what we can do to help him out. Um, there's this guy. Did I complete another set? I don't remember if I did. Um, by the way, if my voice kind of cracks out a little bit this episode, it's because my throat is a little bit sore, but uh, I have to continue. I did the last three episodes in one sitting, and I'm ready to go for another one today. <laughs> hmm? Isn't that Kasuga? Human trafficking. Show letter of introduction. They're whispering, but I can't hear everything. Fine. Come. Okay. Kasuga has been investigating the human trafficking ring somewhere around here. I must have caught him in the act of going undercover. I'll have to ask him for the inside scoop back at that bar. Okay. Uh, is he... Uh, okay? I figured for sure that he was going to get caught up in some, uh, some nasty business, but, um... I guess we're heading back to, uh, the bar. Not Earth Angel. That's the one that I bought out first, but the other one. I guess I'll fight these guys real quick. This is the bar where I met Kasuga, the reporter investigating the dark side of Kamurocho. Uh, let's, uh, pop on in. Why not? I've got time for one of Kasuga's stories, if he's here. Boy, I hope he is. Uh, <laughs> it's not looking good. Kasuga's not here. Mm. Is Kasuga not coming today? Are you meeting someone here? Yeah. No, not really. You know the guy who always sits there? I was just wondering if he was coming by today. Ah. Ah, him. He used to come by pretty much every day, but I haven't seen him at all recently. Mm. That's odd. Mm. The last time I saw him was when you two were drinking together, I think. Uh. Ah, I remember. That was when we talked about the human trafficking ring. After that, I saw him digging around in Pink Alley, so he hasn't been back here since then. I've got a bad feeling about this. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Mm. Huh? Yeah, it does. I'm sure it'll be okay. I hope so. Maybe I should go check out Pink Alley, just in case. Yeah, probably a good idea, but that can wait just a moment, because I want to buy some <laughs> some more alcohol from this place to kind of try to, uh, you know, get some more of this cleared out for the completion list uh, sooner rather than later. I'm really trying to not have, like, an absolute pile at the end of the game. So, um, let's try the... Uh, the Suntory Run Suntory Rum Gold. Why is it gold? Rum is usually not gold. Uh, rum is made from sugar cane juice that has been boiled down until its sugar content crystallizes into molasses. It's graded by color and flavor, both of which vary by how it was made. This one's a gold rum, which means it has a medium body. I've only ever had like a very dark rum. It's perfect for cocktails, and with its wallet-friendly price, you can enjoy it guilt-free. But be careful, rum-based cocktails are sweet and delicious, so it's easy to drink way too much before you know it. For true. Would you like another one? Yes, please. Uh, let's try out the uh, Suntory Brandy VSOP from Japan, apparently. Uh, this is one of ja uh, J Japan's, wow. This is one of Japan's top brandies. Uh, this bestseller has won over countless people with its bright, fruity aroma and smooth taste. As for the name, VSOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. Alright. And we always have room for one more, you know. Uh, let's take a look at... Hmm... What am I looking at today? Well, it's all scotch. 
except the draft, which I, 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 I'm not a big fan of malts, but hey, we'll give it a look. Uh, this Japanese beer has ridden a wave of popularity ever since it went on sale in 86. Made with 100% barley malts, fused with uh, malt and hops, this draft beer strikes a perfect balance of flavors. Once you've enjoyed its pleasant finish, you'll be eager to crack open another bottle before too long. Rich barley tones accented with sweet barley malt and bitter hops are its main feature. Not, not a fan. <laughs> I, I've mentioned before, I think like an episode or two ago, that I'm not really much of a beer guy. But I can, I can handle from draft, but if it's been bottled or... If it's been bottled, I have a tougher time, and if it's canned, I fucking hate it. Uh, I'm afraid you've had enough for drink for n enough to drink for now. Who the heck are you to determine that? I noticed that my health was a little bit low, and I figure that uh, we're probably about to fight some human traffickers. So uh, I wanted to stop by uh, Tengoku Ken, uh, which is an old-fashioned ramen shop. I know we've looked in it before, but I don't really remember what it looks like. Oh yeah, this place. Okay, and let's start buying some food up here. Uh, not many options, actually. I'm kind of surprised. So let's buy something that we can get, uh, two purchases out of. Uh, shoyu ramen. Let's go, let's just go with the cheap basics. Uh, our famous shoyu ramen. This is the best place to start if you're new. Sure. I have had plenty of authentic ramen in my time because there is a, a local place that, um, is just fantastic. I, I love it. Not, not run by Americans. Uh, well, it is, but, uh, like... You know what I mean by that. <laughs> Not <laughs> uh, cha chasu ramen, uh, tasty ramen topped with succulent thin slices of roast pork. Let's give this a go. Well, there's Kasuga just on the ground. I'm surprised that he is okay-ish. Uh, hmm, that's Kasuga. Oi. Hey, Kasuga. Uh. Kiryu-kun. What happened to you? I told you I'd come with you, dude. Kiryu-kun. Run. What? Come on. Let's get you out of here. Little weasel. Look how far he ran. Who are you? Hand over that rodent reporter. He's the guy who was talking with Kasuga before. Is he from the human trafficking ring? I would assume so. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. He's an associate of mine. Oh, you're his friend, are you? Then you should know. This town's dark secrets are best left in the shadows. I don't know or care who you clowns are. I just know your boy there came around sniffing us out. For that, you're both going on the auction block. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, menacing man. All right. I've been getting a, uh, a little bit more used to rush style. Uh, it's still not great, but uh, I I definitely understand it a lot more now than I did before. Just kind of weaving in dodges. Uh, no. No throwing me, sir. Very bad. There we go. It's just all about uh, evading attacks. I mean, obviously it, it was... Oh, shit. Obviously it was always about evading attacks and getting hits in where you can, but... Um, Nope. This guy also seems to be in rush style by his aura. Oh, shit. Fukuoka. Wasn't that the name of the, the city where uh, Kiryu is going to be a cab driver? Or whatever? Isn't that literally the exact city <laughs> that they said? I think it was. If it's even a city, it's probably just a region. Oh, shit. That get-up attack is pretty rad. <laughs> You're not half bad, but not good enough. Too bad for you, the cavalry's coming. Let's see how long you can hold out against my backup with a rat to babysit. <laughs> What's going on here, boss man? What the heck of a goatee. That voice. Boss man? W why would you come here yourself, boss? I... I'm so sorry, sir. I'll take care of these two right away, but please, I b beg your pardon. You may release them. They are free to go. Huh? But but these weasels came looking for a fight. They are ordinary citizens. Nothing more. Just a little overly curious, I'm sure. But, but they know everything. And what of it? 
You're as much to blame for trying to conduct business with a civilian. Some secrets are best left in the shadows. I... I'm sorry, sir. I'll let them go. You got off easy this time. Well, thanks, boss man. <laughs> Appreciate that. That man. We're safe. Damn. Even Kiryu was kind of put to the ropes there. You saved me again, Kiryu-kun. Thanks. If it weren't for you, I'd be merchandise at the human trafficking ring. Yeah, man. I. If you'd just listened to me in the first place instead of your weird pride. <laughs> you better take that lesson to heart, Kasuga. If you sniff around when you smell trouble, it'll bite you on the nose. Yeah, I know. You hauled me out of some deep shit twice now. Seriously, Kiryu-kun, I'm sorry. I must have been over. I must have been in over my head after all. I'll stop sticking my nose into Commodore's shadows for the time being. Uh. Yeah, cool your heels a while. And if you still want to chase this shitty, this shitty, this city's shadows after the heat's died down, be more careful next time. <laughs> huh, there's a sound idea, Kiryu-kun. Maybe I'll lay low. Mm. You can laugh now, but if that man hadn't showed up, we we could have been in a world of pain. Uh-huh. Not that I know. I was out cold. But you saw the boss of the human trafficking ring, yeah? <laughs> I envy you, man. I caught a glimpse, but he hid his identity under a hat. Even if I saw him, I wouldn't recognize his face. That's still a massive coup. We're talking about a guy who might control part of Kamadocho's underworld. Someone big. <laughs> Dream on. But the boss's voice and stature. I can't shake the feeling I might know him from somewhere. Really? Mystery mounts in trafficking terror. Is the ring's ring leader right behind you? How's that for a headline? Lots of alliteration. What did I say about cooling your heels? So much for learning your lesson. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Call it an occupational hazard. <laughs> this guy's so dumb. Guess that's it's, guess it's just who you are, Kasuga. <laughs> it's nice to see you two drinking together again. Thanks. Hmm? Yeah, that's true. See, Kasuga? Our barkeep was worried about you too. <laughs> oh, is that right? Thanks, you're the best. I swear you got me... Uh, you're the best, I swear. You got me as a daily regular for life. I'm very happy to hear that, but if I may, you must be more cautious around these parts. After all, they say some dark sea... Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> they say some dark secrets are best left in the shadows. Hmm? hmm? That voice. Wow. Is something the matter, sir? Yeah. N no, it's nothing. Damn, that's that's a cool little twist ending there. No, it can't be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a cool ending to that. That's awesome. Okay, um, let's head back in. How drunk am I still? Uh, not at all, and Kasuga is gone. What can I get you? Let's order. Okay, let's get a, uh, a, a, a I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, La Frog. <laughs> Le frog, yeah, I'm sure that's how it's. <laughs> it's safe to say this uh, ten year Lefroig, maybe, is the standard of the line. It's characterized by an intensely smoky flavor. I've never had a smoky alcohol. That sounds interesting, uh, and a smooth, dry body. It has more than its share of quirks, so most people either love it or hate it. it. Sounds like it, but if you end up loving this one, it'll be the one you never forget. All right. Would you like another one? Oh, I can? Okay. Um, Bowmore, 12 years old, scotch, 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 scotch. Okay, uh, let's let's save the 17 for another day. Uh, I'm feeling this uh, this Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich? Maybe it's German? I don't know. Uh, it's got a it's got it's got a buck on it. Uh, Glenfiddich, tw uh, 12 years, is the single be is the best selling single malt whiskey in the world. This bottle set the industry standard for a single malt. You'll f You'll find it light and fresh. The bouquet is fruity and finish and the finish clean, making it exceptionally easy to drink. I like calling it a bouquet. Its light flavor makes it popular with anyone new to single malt whiskeys. Interesting. If it's real, I may have to give it a look, even though I don't like whiskey. Yep, I agree. Uh, I've, I've had like five shots today. Six. <laughs> It seems like something is going on once again uh, with the oh, with the mushroom man. What? <laughs> what? What is this? 
<laughs> it's Buna Sh Shimeji. Uh... Buna what? That's not the mushroom we want. So sorry you may have gotten the wrong idea, but we only sell regular mushrooms here. Huh? Give me shrooms! Uh... That's Kitajima the shroomer. The, the shroomer. I came a long way because I heard you had quality shrooms. What gives? I'm basing his whole voice off of that what. Uh, well, our mushrooms are of the finest quality, but they're just shrooms with no special properties. It's no use. He doesn't understand. What am I going to do? Oh, I know. Miraculous mushrooms, marvelous mushrooms, and Okishitake, port porcini, I don't know how to pronounce that, are for magnificent mushrooms. Your man is Kitajima. <laughs> That's how I feel. You're dead. Gah! Looks like I'm going to get dragged into this mess again. All right. Well, let's uh let's pop on in. Good. Hey, oh, Kiryu-san. You, how do we get this guy to cough up the good stuff? He's just a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushroom, try somewhere else. It's too late for talk. We can't back down now. Too bad. You're obstructing his business, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I remove you myself. <laughs> You'll regret this. Kill him! <laughs> Damn, I don't, I don't even get to fight the, uh, the boss man. He's just kind of, <laughs> he's just cowering over there in the corner. What a goober. Uh, do any of these guys have like a gun? Oh, yup, I see it. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, uh, they all have weapons. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Uh, I need to, ooh, okay. I need to swap to a style that has more strength to it. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, beat these guys down a little more. Nope, not happening. Okay, uh, gun guy is down. That's the good news, and I can pick it up, and I can go... Uh, oh, shit. Okay, I'm getting shocked. This is not going well. I wish this was a bigger arena. Okay. Uh, eat that, idiot. <laughs> I love that you can just chuck a gun at somebody's face. Bonk. Damn. Imagine the amount of strength it would take to break a metal trash can over somebody's abdomen. Like, that's unreal. Oh yeah, the running kick. Man, the Brawler is so much better. Oh, it's Taser. Nice. <laughs> right to, like, the, the base of the spine. That dude's dead. <laughs> I guess it's not the base of his spine, but, like, right where your, like, spine connects to your skull. Yikes. Wiped out? Unbelievable. Thanks for helping me again, Kiryu-san. <sighs> Looks like they thought you were selling hallucinogenic mushrooms again, huh? <sighs> yeah, I guess the theme song didn't really help. What's it going to take? I just want people to know I have the tastiest mushrooms in Japan. What? Wait, the tastiest mushrooms in Japan? Hey, let me try one. Mm hmm? Oh, sure. Is this where this is going? Ah, buono, delicious. <laughs> what is this mushroom? Uh, just one of my mushrooms, Kitajima's mushrooms. It tastes fantastic. How do you grow them? Uh, thank you. I have my own special technique. That mushroom reminded me of the old days in N N N N Naples. I used to be a chef there many years ago. Naples? You were a chef? I was well known in Naples back then. I worked, I worked every day trying to make the best pasta in all of Europe. I perfected the ideal al dente pasta. The problem was the sauce. I could never find mushrooms worthy of my pasta. I visited mushroom sellers every day searching for a mushroom to match my pasta. None were good enough. I never found the right mushroom. My restaurant was losing money and my girl left me. I grew to hate pasta. I gave up and took over the family business. The Mafia. What a story. <laughs> I see. But I finally found it. The ideal mushroom to go with my pasta. I should be able to make the finest pasta in Europe now. Kitajima, would you come back to Italy with me? <laughs> we will take Europe by storm with the best mushroom pasta ever. What? This is all so sudden. 
But if I went to Europe with you, I bet I could get lots of people to try my mushrooms. Kiryu-san, I... I really don't know what to think, but don't worry about me. Hey, you do you, man. It sounds like a good opportunity, and this guy, I don't think he's tricking you, so... You need to listen to what your heart tells you. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with you, if it means I can show more people how good my mushrooms are. <laughs> Grazie. Thank you, Kitajima. Still, I'm a little worried. I think my mushrooms are the best in Japan, but I don't know if people will like them overseas. <laughs> Show some confidence. Remember what you always say? Huh? Oh, yeah. For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's your man! It's probably pronounced like Kitajima. But, hey. That was a nice little story. Big fan of that. So he's off to Italy. Very cool. Alright, my health was looking a little bit rough, so I came back to the, uh, the ramen shop. Uh, Tengokuken, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's right there at the bottom, Tengokuken. Um, so, uh, let's try the, uh, the Negi ramen. That's our 45th dinery. I don't know if that's overall or just with Kiryu. And let's have one more finishing out the shop. Uh, the Negi Chas the Chashu ramen. Uh, this ramen features a hefty helping of spicy Welsh onions and slices of roast pork. Sounds awful to me. I don't like onions. Oh, and this one also has Welsh onions. Well, I don't really know what Welsh onions are specifically, but I don't imagine they're going to be too different from the onions that I'm used to and dislike. <laughs> so, um, onions are really good if you put, like, very little of them in things, but if you make them a main ingredient, then I don't like your food. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I went into a, uh, a Sega High Tech Land to see if uh, one of the uh, the other two mini games that we haven't been able to find was here, and I found another card, uh, Emidi Okazaki. Okay. No. Oh, say, buddy, hold up. Okay. Hmm. Who are you? Just the messenger. You're Kiryu-san, right? There's a place you need to go. Someone's waiting for you. Okay. Who is it? Can't you guess? Someone from the Dojima family. Uh... Then tell them if they want to see me, they can come to me themselves. <laughs> they told me you'd say that. They're the Dojima family, but they're not your enemy. Just go see them. You'll see. What? Anyway, that's the message. I already got paid to bring it to you, so don't worry about it. Boy. Hold on a second. Huh? You didn't say where. Where's this Dojima family guy waiting? Well, it's obviously not Nishiki. Because, you know, <laughs> Nishiki would just call us. Oh, right. Oops, that was careless. Some messenger. They're at the batting cages. There, that's the whole message delivered. Dojima family, but not an enemy. Who fits that bill? I have no idea, to be honest. Um, the only person... Well, we were just... <laughs> You know, now, now, uh, now that I think about it, uh, we were just here with Nishiki at the batting cages, but why would he do this roundabout way of contacting us? Who else could it be? I have to know. I've got to find out. So uh, I guess it's, uh, it's baseball batting time. That was a weird way to say that. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be someone waiting for me here. Someone from the Dojima family. Alright. Don't see anyone who looks the part. Over here, Kiryu-kun. What do you mean? What? It can't be. Did you get my message? I sent for you, Kiryu-kun. Who the hell are you? But Master Daigo? Who's Daigo? <laughs> it's been a while. Daigo-kun, who's this guy? Please! Kiryu-kun, he was a part of my father's family business. I heard he got kicked out for some reason, though. Oh, a former soldier then, eh? Wait. Say, why'd you get the boot? You pop a boner in the boss's office or something? <laughs> What's it matter to you guys? You can leave. Now I'm gonna hang with Kiryu-kun. So he was... He said bosses or his father's family business and he got kicked out for some reason. Is he 
He's not Dojima's son, is he? Huh? But Daiko-kun, you said you'd spring you'd spring for the party at the arcade. What happened to that? Another time. Not like that's anything anything special. What? You can't just ditch us after you call us out. What? You want to make something of it? <laughs> Never mind. I get it, Daiko-kun. Be seeing you. What? This is weird. Okay. Master Daigo, did you need me for something? Come hang out with me. I just felt like hitting the town for a change. What now? Mom says that Dad's way too busy for me right now, so I've got a lot of time to kill these days. Yeah. So you're Dojima's son, huh? Right? Yes, but... What's the matter? You used to play with me all the time, right? You getting kicked out of the family doesn't mean we can't still hang out, does it? Well, if anyone from the family saw us together, things could be bad for you, Master Daigo. It's not a good idea. It's fine. Those spineless grunts don't have the balls to say anything to my face. All they do is talk behind my back. But chill out, Kiryu-kun. You need to let go and have some fun. Come on, I've got enough money to cover us both. Besides, if you're with me, there's no way the family would risk messing with you. You're in real hot water, huh? Smart kid. Okay. Well, I guess we're not doing the uh, the batting cage minigame like I thought we were. Okay, we're off. First stop, the arcade. That'll do. <laughs> Damn. Dude was like, nah, fuck you guys. I'm hanging out with Kiryu. Mm. I would too. Uh, the arcade. Okay. I just want to hang out with you, Kiryu-kun. I don't really care where. Let's go already. Master Daigo, can we slow down a little? Hey, can you quit it with that master thing? You can just call me Daigo from now on. You're not part of the Dojima family anymore, Kiryu-kun. Uh, no. I can't do that. <laughs> Consider it a request from a friend, not an order from a patriarch's son. You are- wow. Does that work for you? <laughs> I, he's always been a good kid. It's a miracle, given his dad. I guess I can afford to give him a little time. Yeah, he seems pretty chill. All things considered. Kiryu-kun, check that out! Hmm? Oh god, more? <laughs> the UFO catcher? Have you tried this before? Too many times. I totally hooked on it. I sunk too much money into it. Is into these, it's not even funny. Uh-huh. What should I try to get today? Check out my skills, Kiryu-kun. Do I need to do anything? I'm giving you a demonstration first. Okay, here goes. What is this bullshit? It sucks today. What's wrong with this place? The management must suck. Master Daigo, you shouldn't be dissing the business out loud. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. There's no end to this. Haven't you had enough? If I quit now, I've wasted all the money I've already used. Sunk cost fallacy. And didn't I tell you to drop that master stuff? Yeah. Yes, but that wouldn't be... It doesn't matter. Anyway, Kiryu-kun, your turn. Huh? I have 300 yen left. Let's see if you... Let's see you get that for me. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can give it a try. Get what? Do you want anything specific? I, I assume you want a Jumbo Sparrow. If I was a kid, that's what I would want, too. So let's... Let's give her a go. That's way too far forward and way too far to the left. It's so over. God damn it, man. No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Alright, man. Come on. I'm so over UFO Catcher. I've done it so much already. <laughs> There's so many side quests that do it. And also, I, I kind of blitz it all at the beginning. This is a bad plan. I'm going to get stuck on the uh, the other bird there. Yep. Okay. What would be the easiest one to go for? I think the one on, like, the front left here. Or maybe this one. We'll give this one a shot. Okay. Okay. It's looking good. I hope you like pink, Master Daigo. He's got a little tie. I guess they all do. Uh, Boonchan the Java Sparrow Pink. No way! You got it? After all the money I dropped on it, you just nail it? <laughs> it's just dumb luck, Master Daigo. You lined things up so it was easy to grab. Uh, yeah, that must be it. Maybe it's time to call it a day, a day then. I've got some things to take care of, too. 
Huh? What are you talking about, Kitty Akun? We're just getting started. But let's go somewhere else. Not a kitty place like this. Somewhere, but somewhere kids can go by them. Can't go by themselves. Oh my god, I can't read today. Somewhere kids can't go. Where do you propose we go? I told you, I want to go somewhere kids can't go by themselves. Not that this neighborhood has anything, but can't argue with that. Kitty Akun, do you know a place called Asia? The continent we're on? Uh, no. It's a bikini bar. Uh, <laughs> we can't take a kid to a theater. Uh, no. A bikini bar would be inappropriate. Fine then. How about a telephone club? Or I heard there's a place you can watch cat fights too. What? Maybe you could settle for a lounge? Lounge? Fine. I'll buy you a drink. Hmm? I thought you ran out of cash. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 100 yen coins. Plenty of bills where those came from. Oh. There's a lounge on Pink Street that should do. We'll see if they do virgin drinks, I guess. Okay, this is an interesting little <laughs> side quest here. Uh, um, hmm? I'm sorry, but we can't have children here. I won't ask you to serve him alcohol, but can you just let us hang out here for a while? I'm so sorry. I really can't help you. There are other guests I have to consider. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. Hey, don't you know who I am? No. I'm sorry, but even if you were the Prime Minister's son, I'm still not allowed to let kids in. My father's Sohei Dojima. He's the patriarch of the Dojima family. You want to reconsider that stance? Huh? Uh, um, you're joking, right? If this is a joke, why aren't you laughing? Yeah. Um, well, you want to do business in this town? You better remember my name. It's Daigo Dojima. Damn. At least we're on his good side. Over here, Kiryu-kun. Have a seat. I'm sorry, we won't stay long. Just mix him oolong tea with soda or something. You can't be caught serving alcohol to a minor. Okay, I'll do that. Hey, how about some girls? Hurry up and send someone over. That's what you do at a lounge, right? We're a karaoke lounge. We don't really offer that kind of service. <sighs> what a sad little dive. Oh, well then. I don't work here, but I'm a real-life hostess. How about I attend you, hun? W wait a minute, lady. I'll show you how fun grown-up talk is, young man. What the fuck? Oh, you are so adorable. Uh... Hmm, well, you'll have to do. Sit yourself down and be quick about it. This is weird. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my, are you really the son of the Dojima Yakuza boss? Many of the Dojima family gentlemen patronize our club. But I never knew Dojima-san had such an adorable son. What a cutie. Is that right? What grade are you in? Maybe you're around my little brother's age. What? Beats me. Oh, are you grumpy today? Or maybe you're just a little shy around a lady. What? Ooh, you're adorable even when you're pouting. Listen, why don't you get lost? You're annoying me now. Excuse me? You said your little brother's in elementary school? Yeah, right. Don't you mean your son? Huh? Now what are you trying to pull with this drink? It's just a tea with a splash of soda. Do you think your guests are stupid? How much do you charge for this swill? This is going so bad. Just because I'm a kid doesn't mean you can screw with me. Some ugly bag chats me up and I get served fake kitty shit. What a joke. Master Daigo, I asked them to make you that drink. I know that. Although the hostess was unexpected. <laughs> Right? But the Daigo Dojima, I know, would never take pleasure in mocking a woman. What's wrong? No, it's nothing. It's just... You miss your dad, huh? Mm. Maybe things turned out this way because nothing ever happens in my life. I've got no one I can talk to. Anyone who wants to talk to me has an agenda, whether it's money or getting in good with my father. Mm. Master Daigo. Mm. I told you not to call me that. You're not even in the family anymore. I'm sorry. He just wants a friend. 
Let's blow this joint, Kitty Akun. Keep the change. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you very much. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I don't know how to feel about this kid. He acts like a kid in his situation probably would. So, you know. Hmm? Where did Master Daigo go? What, what the hell? Hmm? Shut up. Keep your yap sh- Oh, shit. They got ski masks. Hey, it's too crowded here. Let's get his ass over to the Champion District. Good point. Walk, kid. D damn it. Well, we got we can't let that happen. Imagine if he gets like murdered or kidnapped or trafficked or something like And he was last seen with Kiryu Kazuma. Yikes. What was that about? I think it's pretty obvious what that was about. They were wearing fucking ski masks, Kiryu. Uh okay, where where is he? Okay, he's over in the back alley. Uh-oh. I'm coming, Master Daigo. Oi. Hey. Uh -huh. Shit! We got company. Kiryu kun. What's wrong with you guys? Three on one against a kid? Damn it. We gotta take this asshole down, too. If they see our faces, we're dead. Uh -huh. huh? I'm not dying here. You are. Yeah, sure, guys. Okay. Shifty eyed man. I thought that said shitty eyed man, and I think I've made that mistake before. Alright, it's beast time. I'm fucking pissed. Okay. Let's go. Oh, shit. He's got a taser. Okay. Maybe not Beast. Maybe Beast is a bad plan here. I got an umbrella. <laughs> I forgot I was holding this. Okay. Let's do a heat action. Oh, I don't know if we've seen that one before. That's pretty funny, though. I like that. Okay. Uh, actually, Beast is going uh, pretty good. In this situation. Knock him out. Were there bikes over here? Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Beast is ridiculous. Kitty Akun, take off their masks. Wait, these guys. Ugh. Oh, it's them. You were the kids hanging around Master Daigo? S sorry please forgive me, don't kill me, please! You guys are fucking scum. Y you guys jump me? Why? Hide your faces behind masks, will you? Kiryu-kun, these bastards tried to kill me! Ugh. Don't worry. These punks will have no fight left in them, and if they did, they'd never raise a finger against the Prince of Dojima, now that we know who they are. Are you saying I should let these scumbags go? It's your call, Master Daigo. I won't kill them, but I'll make sure they never walk again. Ugh. These losers are just like the others I told you about. They only hang around me to mooch off me, like mosquitoes. They're scum that suck up to an elementary school kid and then jump him when they get pissed. I'm 100% on Daigo's side, to be honest. I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me. <laughs> Look at them, Kiryu-kun. When they had their masks on, they were having the time of their lives punching and kicking me. Got all brave, didn't you? You should be glad I'm not going to kill you. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh. I said cut it out, you little punk. What? <laughs> Huh? Kiryu-kun? I kept my mouth shut so far, but enough is enough. Wh what is this? You presume to lecture me? You want to be the spoiled rich kid who gets his way by throwing around his father's name? Fine. Be my guest. Damn, Kiryu's mad. But torturing a defeated foe from a position of safety? That's not right. It's beneath a man. True. You know what? And me? I can't stand by and watch a man stray so far from what's right. Especially when that man is you, Daigo. Are you seriously laying a hand on the heir to the throne, Kiryu-kun? You must know what they'll do to you. I don't care. I'd rather face the consequences than watch you will go down a path you can't come back from. Kiryu-kun. Daigo, this will be one lesson you're gonna remember. Uh, 
Whoa, I'm sorry. Didn't expect you to break down like that. Were you scared? Mm. Yes, but I was happy too. It's been a really long time since anyone saw me for who I really am and cared enough to put me in my place. I know I needed that. Daigo. That's what friends do, man. They're transparent. Your father is a Yakuza patriarch. Not many are going to have the balls to treat you as an equal. But if you keep using money in your father's name as a way to get ahead, you'll never meet people who can measure up to you as peers. For people to bond as friends and equals, it takes time. You have to be willing to take that time, Daigo. Do that, and eventually you'll make friends. And don't forget, you have at least one friend in me. Aww. Alright, on your feet, Daigo. I'll see you to somewhere safe so you can get home. No thanks. Hmm? I'm done depending on others. I can stand up on my own and get there on my own two feet. No more partying on my parents' dime. No more getting my way on my name alone. <laughs> You're becoming a man in a hurry, Master Daigo. <laughs> That's enough of that master stuff. Well, it'll be pretty tough to change how I address you all of a sudden. Then I'll change how I address you too. What? It was an honor and a privilege to spend the day with you, Kiryu san. Next time, may I buy you another drink, sir? Uh. Sure. I'll look forward to it. <laughs> okay, see you later then. That was great! Damn, that was a really good one. I love that. I hope to see him in a future game. Keeping that kid out of trouble is a full-time job. But considering where I stand with the Dojima family, I may never see him again. Take care, Daigo. Grow up to be more than you are. He better. That was too good. <laughs> well, uh, so obviously uh, Ryuji Goda is going to be a, uh, a character later on. But uh, Daigo, considering he's the son of the patriarch, the Dojima family, who we're currently beefing with, I'm going to be quite shocked. If it, if it turns out that um, he's not an important character later on as well. So uh, I really hope to see more of him. That was a really good one. I love seeing Kiryu's morals, seeing him get emotional. And, you know, just, you know, I, I, I may be a little bit, um, how do you say, emotional and not super invested in, like, uh, toxic masculinity type stuff. But I... I'd be lying if I said that, you know, this sort of manly man shit didn't get to me at my core. I really do like a lot of these plot lines about what it takes to be a man, which is what Kiryu's stuff is kind of all about. And I'm really appreciating that aspect of the whole thing. Uh, well, I think that now it is probably time for us to uh, finally head forward to meet Mr. Oda here at the Cafe Alps. よ、来たか。町くたびれたぜ。おで。さんが抜けてるぞ、おい。調子呼び捨てにするやつがどこにいるんだ。大体お前その服なんだよ。ちゃんとしろっつったろ。全然肩切り見えねえじゃねえか。
しょうがねえな戦友やっつうのは平たく言いや立ち退き料を目当てに建物を占拠しちまうやつらのことだいや建物を占拠ああよく借金の方に裁判所で売りに出されるビルがあるんだがこれを競売物件という普通のデモのより相当安いけどこいつを競り落とすとその専用屋がどっからか湧いてくるんだよで自分たちはこの建物から出ていかないぞと居座る連中の狙いはビルの買い手にデタラメな立ち退き料をふっかけることだ Make sense. 本当はそこの住人じゃないのにってことかそういうこと最も戦友屋は大抵ビルの元の持ち主とグルだ戦友屋はせしめた立ち抜き料から元の持ち主に分け前を払うって仕組みになってるそれじゃあその戦友屋を力づくで追い出すのが俺らの仕事ってことかいやそうはいかないんだか弱いビルの住人たちは法律で守られているんでねうん力づくでいけば警察沙汰になるそん時捕まるのはもちろんこっちだけだおかしな話だろう結局ビルの買い手は理不尽な金を払わねえと戦友屋を追い出さねえんだ確かになけどその金をなるべく払わずに済ませたいってのが今回の俺たちへのオーダーだじいさんそろそろ来ると思うんだが先に店に入ってるかおっとその前にこれ渡すの忘れてたキリュウ君の名刺だよこれであんたも立派な立花不動産の社員だなナイスクエッションマーク今日はお前のサラリーマンとしての適性を測るあんまりなめたまねするようならきちんと社長に報告するからなわかったオーダーズファンキャラクターアンジョイウェンヒーズオンスクリーンいらっしゃいませお好きな席へどうぞ Anywhere I like, huh? Where's good to talk business? Um, well, obviously not the table up front. Um, a、uh, little too close to the kitchen for my liking, I think. Trying to play this smart.、Uh, can't really go any further forward, it looks like, even though there are very clearly seats over there.、Um, but yeah, I think Oda's a.、Uh, a I'm sorry. I think Oda's a pretty fun character, actually.、Uh, you know, he's, he's kind of a shitbag, but he's kind of like a, a fun kind of shitbag, you know what I mean? Not really like love to hate, but like, even still, just like a, an enjoyable character. Okay, so. This table only has two chairs, so I think we need this one. This looks as good as any. Good, this should work fine. The perfect spot for a professional chat. All right. Um, I'm gonna take the farthest seat so that we. Thinking about this like a businessman.、Uh, if we take the farthest seat, then that gives the comfiest,、uh, least restrictive access spot to the, the person we're negotiating with, right? Oi! Masaka Kamiza ni swaro nan te omot te nai yo na. The head? What do you mean? 入り口に近い方が下座で遠い方が上座俺たちが座るのは当然下座だそれくらい知ってる知ってても実行できなきゃ意味ないんだからな椅子に座るときは常に気をつけるようにしとけよ OK but why? I don't understand that わかった Are we not trying to be accommodating? ご注文はお決まりでしょうかああそうだうん。Obviously not beer。うん。Nothing。ねえ。I think coffee is well suited for a businessman。コーヒーを。いや、注文はすれが来たからにする。おお。ああ、oh. oh, shit。I'm bad at this。かしこまりました。
お前先に注文する気だったんじゃねえだろうな客を待ちながら優雅にコーヒーなんざすすってちゃ話になんねえぞそれがビジネスマナーってもんだ Sorry そういうもんか別に期待しちゃいなかったけどよせめて同じことは二度言わせんなえー、しかしめんどくせえな何言ってんだヤクザの方がよっぽど礼儀にうるせえぞ上の人間ほどわきまえてるもんだ That's true. That's a good point. おい来たぞあのじいさんが今日の客だ OK not what I expected どうも山根さんお久しぶりですああ悪いね小田さんなんか面倒なことになっちゃってこちらはうちの新人で桐生です山根さんよりご依頼の件こいつがやらせていただきますんでへえそうですか、oh, give business card. 立花不動産の桐生です Both hands. いいぞ名刺交換は挨拶の基本だどんなに顔を打っても名刺を渡し忘れるようじゃその先の取引にはつながらないからな True だが残念名刺がさらさまだ、oh. ああ<笑>まあ初めてにしちゃ上出来だ大目に見といてやるよ桐生さんですかこれからよろしくお願いしますよこちらこそよろしくお願いいたしますなるほどお話聞く限り相手は典型的な戦友屋ですね山井さんがそのビル落札したのは先月でしたかすると戦友屋が居座り出したのはその直前ええまあ戦友屋は一人ですねはい辻って男です四十過ぎくらいかななんだかホームレスみたいな汚らしいやつでしてそいつから立ち退き料の要求はありましたかまだですできればそのあたりの交渉も全部立花さんとこにお願いできればと思ってまして私も年寄りですし怖くてねなんとかうまいことあいつを追い出してもらえませんかもちろんです時に山井さん戦友屋への立ち退き料いくらまでと考えてます早いとこ済ませたいですしそうですね500万くらいなら500万勝手に座ってるだけのやつにかそれはまあ安く済めばそれに越したことはないですけどもともとあんたがそいつに金出す筋はねえんだ、oh. 俺ならはビタイチも払う気になれねえなおい失礼だろその辻って男自分にはヤクザがついているなんて言うもんで揉めるとあとは怖いんですよお察ししますでもご安心くださいうちの気流はヤクザを扱うエキスパートですから True huh? ヤクザのエキスパートいやーこいつはなんていうかちょっと気合いの入ったヤクザオタクでしてね<笑>時々ヤクザになりきっちゃあえつに行ってるんですよなキリュウくん<笑>ああそうだな damn good save 立ち退き料はできるだけ安く済ませますよそれじゃあ頼めますかもちろんあなた方への謝礼は別に用意しますからあ<笑>それはありがたいんですが、立花から謝礼は遠慮するようにと言われてます。いつも山井さんにはお世話になってますから。本当ですかいやー、さすが立花不動産だ。やることが生きたね。で、問題のビルというのはどちらに天下一通りにある杉田ビルです。わかりました。
あとは我々にお任せくださいなキリュウ君ああ Kitty is struggling in this environment. <laughs> I mean, so am I, but. Hanasia, I got the name. Your Suruni, Sen Yu Yao Birka, Tachinoka Serot de Kotoda. Ma, Kosho, Orena Yu. She got on the home of Missy Yarka. Sen Yu Yano Bakuna Yakza Sweet in the row. So, what do you want to I really like seeing these two interact. It's very clear Oda's been at this for a long time. Uh, he said this Sugita building was on Tenkaichi Street. Can't say the name rings any bells, though. That whole area is Ojima family turf, so I know it pretty well, but I don't remember any place like that. Might be tucked away in one of the smaller streets off Tenkaichi. I'll have a look once I've got this gift box. For true. Okay. Uh, well, I guess let's go ahead and uh, pop on over that way. I have no idea how long this episode is. It's very difficult to determine how long they will be, considering uh, how long they all take to record. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll meet you guys over there. Hey, it's our good buddy uh, Miho. That's right. That's your name. I totally didn't forget. Uh, do you guys sell, uh, confectionery gift boxes by chance? Uh, it does not appear like you do. Unfortunate. Okay, well, uh, it was really nice to see you again, Miho. I hope that, um, your new promotion works out well. Unless I'm blind, I didn't see it at Don Quixote either, but it looks like the, uh, the M store does in fact sell, uh, confection gift boxes. So, sorry, Miho, it looks like your, uh, your competitor got my, my dollar today. But anyway, I think that we will uh, deliver that to our uh, Mr. Negotiating Squatter Guy next time. So anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials or join my Discord, they're in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time when we uh, continue on with the main plot.